hello everyone and uh, dr sarada representing st dance college for women uh, i would like to discuss about how to teach the physics laboratory work effectively uh, using online so let me just show you the virtual laboratories that is being used in our college for teaching physics and electronics experiments which gives an overview of all the experiments that they are doing they are able to change the parameters the variables see the effect of the input the process that's going on and the output and how by changing the different variables uh, the values are affecting the output they are able to plot the graph calculate and validate the results what we get using theory and as well as the lab so let me show you what all we used in our labs we've covered many experiments and it has been a boom especially during the the covid time but otherwise also we are continuing a few of the experiments are, is only being highlighted here finding the numerical aperture measurement of wavelength of a monochromatic source using Reynolds bipolarism filters Newton's rings uh, deflection magnetometer and these experiments since they are all optical the spectrometer adjustment itself takes a little long time because they are all coming from the intermediate coming to the degree level so we are doing, trying to do the best to the possible we will make them do the experiments using this try to analyze and develop an analytical skill and also you know adjustments practical skills once they get it then we will uh, give them a hands on equipment they will experiment and try out new features these are only a few as i told you and also there is one lab the business communication lab uh, which actually is uh, teaching them the necessary inputs required to improve their language english skills for presentations so that also once in a while we keep doing that also and a few many there are many experiments in electronics too uh, we have done a few and many more we have done op amp circuits rectifiers adders digital uh, circuits and also the latest one is application of digital circuits in the daily life and also here for the electronics students uh, we have a section for electronics apparently so here also we are giving them business English. so this is a measurement of uh, aperture of uh, optical fiber so when you just click on this it will give you the procedure this is the simulation so just click on this fiber stand fiber and start the experiment so you can choose between the file cable and glass cable you can measure maintain the distance accordingly see you can get a fine focused or a diffused one so we make them add this data into this table and make them plot this graph and verify with the results suppose any student has not understood the theory what is being taught they can always visit here and see what is the definition the propagation of a signal is based on this total internal total internal reflection so that also they will be able to you know get this information and then then we made them do study the theory plotted these different uh, things different distances measure diameter and plot it the final numerical aperture as calculated from these labs is being tallied and validated with the theory and percentage says 45 so a person first time a student is performing they will get an error like this so fine refinement is reduced to 2 percent so like this they will be able to do different uh, values plot the graph verify and validate their results okay so the error is again increased then you have this uh, wavelength of uh, monochromatic source using Newton's rings experiment or by Fresnel's by prism experiment so this is a link when you click it will take you to that so just turn on optical bench click on whichever uh, instruments or the equipment that is needed that is coming here 
place the lens. So for different places of the lens, you'll be able to get the fringe button. Keep adjusting until you get a fine definition of the fringe button. So unless it is fixed properly, this is how it is. And it is giving you the calculations of uh, the distance between the two lenses, fringe width, distance between the two virtual sources, distance between the slit and the eyepiece. They will be using this formula to calculate the wavelength and also calculate the error. So, a few experiments from observations, they will be validating the result. This is how they will be doing. They calculate the mean wavelength and they calculate the lambda using the formula as well and then a relative percentage of error. So after two, three experiments, they will all be able to understand there were calculations in physics experiments and they will be able to calculate the percentage of error that they are getting and then validate with the other results. Uh, this is another interesting experiment, the Newton's rings uh, experiment. This is the apparatus. It's loading. So go to simulator. This is the setup. This is the setup. So what you can do is you can select different media here, water, acetone, these are all the different things. In the laboratory, we will be able to do only one at a time because it's a lengthy experiment, it takes time for them to adjust uh, the traveling microscope to be able to make measurements with one year one year calipers. Because this is uh, actually an experiment which is in the second degree course for us. So they need some time. Whereas here they will be able to select from this and then adjust the microscope position. They will be able to see the button here, the light on, you must say light on. And so as you can see, as you change the position, you are able to see the fringe button. So it's not exactly at the center. So As you can see, you can see the distance between the microscope and this is also changing. Still it is not correct, so you can adjust. Measure the one year that was here, there is a scale here. Measure the distance between uh, the uh, rings. Any fifth reading you can take, measure the distance. And the theory says, this is how you will be doing, this is how you will be, n plus p ring and m ring. So let us say fifth ring onwards you can take on either side and do the calculations. So that is how you will be doing this calculations. This is also very interesting, you can choose different medium, you can also choose different colors. That's how you'll be doing this. Right source, sodium, neon. Accordingly, you can calculate it. Green light. And then this is another Newton's law of cooling. So, variables. This is, you know, you heat the system to a predefined uh, temperature. You can choose uh, start the experiment and choose different materials and draw the cooling curve and calculate uh, the temperature gradient and other things in this. So it will give you start heating. It will heat up to the maximum temperature. You can see the temperature also raising. And once it does, you can see the temperature rising. Once it reaches the predefined temperature, we can stop heating and draw the graph. So the graph looks something like this. From this, you will be using this formula.
to calculate what it is required in this. So this is how you are doing the different experiments. Then now a few of these experiments rectifiers. So this is a circuit. So it's a full wave rectifier. There is a formula here to calculate VRMS and VDC. The ratio of these two will give you uh, the calculations. You can measure the frequency as you change the frequency, this is changing. VRMS and VDC values you can calculate and measure the time uh, ripple factor. Next, you have op amp differentiator circuit. The circuit is here. You can change the frequency and right, this is about uh, 6 multiplexes and demultiplexes so depending on these are the two values 0 0 power on zero one. so this is depending on the different values you will be going This is uh, the multiplexer. So, 1, 1, this is coming. 0. So, whatever you do, that can be tabulated here and shown to them. This is uh, XR, uh, half adder and full adder using XR and NAND gates. So, the inputs, different inputs are given here and accordingly they are tabulated. So, they can take a print of this directly along with the circuit. Different input parameters they will be changing. Two ladders, uh, encoders and decoders. So, depending on D1 means 1, depending on what you choose accordingly it will come. So, here again whatever data you are taking, You have to change these. If you click on this, it will take you to that particular virtual lab. By changing the input values, the output is accordingly changed. Another interesting uh, feature is uh, we are using, we are making them do these uh, applications of these digital circuits as well, uh, like a washing machine, I suppose. This is developed by, I think, IIT Bombay. So, temperature is on. The motor is on and all these, this is door open, the level, the temperature. When everything is on, this is on. Suppose I say level is reduced. So it will tell you the water uh, level is reduced. So water valve has to be open. Let the water in. Okay. And then once the water is inlet is on, the motor is stop working. When the door is on also, it is working. When everything is on, then also it will not work then also it will not work only when all the three parameters are on this is a simple application of the digital circuit for the washing machine which is daily being used at their homes so daily applications can be shown here this is uh, another application car wiper control so what it does is ignition on wiper on so it's coming the ignition is off Simple applications. Staircase. We always tell in their uh, classes that exclusive argument is used as a staircase uh, switch. So, this is how it is implemented. Then, uh, let us see if both the lights are off, definitely the output is going to be off. So, suppose you are in the first floor okay, and you want to reach the first floor in the night. You need not go up to the first floor and have the switch on. You operate from the door. So, 
So it's an exclusive or principle. When one of the inputs is higher, it is going to be. So you have gone to the top first floor and you want to switch up. Switch up. While coming down, you are in the first floor already. You don't want to walk in the dark. You come down. Come here. Switch on this. Then the light will be off. So this is a good application once again. This is cockpit warning light control using once again the same principle. If any one of them is off, okay, then we can see. This is also off. So regulate the, the preconditions. These are the preconditions which are set according to this. This is another uh, thing. Simulate the performance of a biosensor. Uh, it will give you. This is again another interesting biosensors. So, what we do here is you have to select the speed. Bits versus hearts, heart, BP, 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 measurements. Start the rotation. So, you can see that it is moving at this RPM. So many radians per minute. So what it tells you? So at this time, 841, this is 120. Okay. Level 2, it will tell you. Select the age. Let us say you want. Show range in this one. So heartbeat is around. For this, it's 154. What is predefined? The range expected to be is 120 to 160. That means it's in the normal range. Let us say up to 6 years. It is 81. This is already tested and shown here. This is for them to know, understand how the sensor is working. The heartbeat for this loop is between 75 to 120 and it's 81, so it's in the normal range. Level 3, it will tell you how much error it is having. The error is it, uh, no. so it tells you this is the uh, value that you are getting because of mismanagement. If there is a stray light also, there is a possibility. So, I have to tell you how much error there is coming in these machines. So, that way, the error analysis also is seen like this. These are different applications, op amps. Function generated using op amp. This is used to generate a square, a triangular, and a sine wave. And this is an RC coupled amplifier, which is another interesting application. You can even draw the frequency response with this. Uh, this is what I'm telling you about these uh, labs, which are used, spell checked. Any exercise you want, you can click on this. They are made to do many exercises. So, these are only a few examples that we have done. You can do many more.